In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to add social media buttons to your WordPress website using Jetpack. And just to show you where they'd normally go, if you just go in and look at any post on your website, they'd typically appear around about there, just below the main content of your post. So what we need to do is jump into the dashboard and just confirm we have Jetpack installed. And if you look over on the left-hand side of my screen, you can see Jetpack is there already. That means I've got it installed and it's activated. However, if you don't actually have that up and running uh, already or when you go and try to do this, you can just go into plugins and then add new and search for Jetpack and install. So what we need to do now is click on Jetpack on the left-hand side and then we scroll down to sharing. It's just over on the left-hand side here and then we just click activate. So what we need to do now is just jump into settings and then go down to sharing. And this is the interface that you'll see and you know need to use. So as you can see, it's all done by drag and drop, which makes it really, really easy to use. So let's just say for instance, you know, you want people to be able to share your posts by email, Facebook, uh, Reddit, Twitter, and say Google Plus as well. You can just put those there. And it also gives you a live preview. So you can see that that's how those will appear and you know, you can just drag and drop to reorder the buttons if you'd like. And then you've just got a few settings down here. You can see you've got the button style. You can just change it to an icon only. It's a lot smaller and neater, I think. You can have text only, uh, or you can use the official buttons. And it really depends what you'd like to use. I probably feel that the icon and text is the best because then it looks quite uniform. Whereas if you use the official buttons, they, they've all got a, a different look about them and it sort of doesn't look so clean. So I'm gonna go with icon and text now. Uh, of course, use whatever you like though. And then you can choose to define a sharing label and by default, it's share this and then a colon. You can put whatever you like. You don't even need one if you don't want. Maybe you wanna write something even more scripted like share this post or you know tell your friends. And then you've just got another choice here. So you can choose to open links in the same window or a new window. I'm gonna just use the same window for now. And then what you can see here is where you wanna show the buttons. So we're gonna put these on the posts because that's the place that makes the most sense for them to go. We'll also put them on pages as well. It's, un it's pretty unlikely that anyone's really ever going to want to share a page. Uh, because that's generally more static content rather than uh, posts, which is you know interesting and ongoing content on your website. And we'll also just put it on the front page as well, just to show you how that looks. Though in most cases, you may not want to do that because it doesn't look great. So with those configured, and we're just going to ignore the disable CSS and JavaScript option at the moment, we're just going to save changes to make these live. And then we're going to go back to the home page. And there you can see that you've got these sharing buttons down here. And as you hover over them, it's, it's all very straightforward. If you click email, it puts a little modal box out there so you can put an email address you'd like to send it to. You can click Reddit and it'll take you to Reddit to uh, submit the link. And you know the same again for Facebook, you know, it will pop open this little area here that you can share it without too much hassle. So that's how you can, you know, get social media buttons set up really easily on your website with uh, Jetpack. It's pretty handy, especially if that's what you're out to achieve. And it looks pretty good as well, uh, because a lot of these plugins don't really look good at all. If you have any questions about doing this or customizing it or you know anything else regarding social buttons, please feel free to ask in the comments below.